Hey, y'all. I just stopped by for a couple minutes to say I am very excited. Look, we have made it to September. This is that ninth month. And I don't know, I always like um, the number nine for some reason. That is like one of my favorite numbers. I think nine, seven, and 13. But anyway, I was just thinking this morning about um, how at the beginning of 2020, you know, and even before 2020 came in, how we were so certain of the things that God had told us that would manifest this year. And um, everybody was talking about 2020 vision, 2020 vision. And I think we had one thing in mind, but God knew all along what he was saying. He knew all along what was coming. He knew all along what was planned. And I'm here to remind you that nothing we see can outweigh what God has said. So for those of you who got pregnant with that thing right as 2020 was coming in and it seemed like things were crazy and that it wasn't going to come to pass, I'm here to tell you it's the ninth month. Like, don't get confused about the thing. Sometimes we expect when we're talking about birthing, we expect something to come out full blown. But y'all, anything that comes out full size is a freak. Everything has this growth that takes place on the inside. And then the inside is just to get it to the place where it's able to come into the earth. And then there's another growth that takes place. So don't be discouraged if it seems like things aren't what you thought they would be by this time of year. Hey, I'm here to tell you, God is still able to do just what he said. All it takes is one word. One person obeying God, one obedience. You're one obedience away from everything that God has promised you. So I encourage you, don't be discouraged, y'all. As we enter this ninth month, get ready. Look, if you don't have the things in place for when this baby comes out, you better get you better get to moving because God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, okay? If he said it, he's going to do it. So line up, line up, redeem the time. Don't spend time looking back with regret. Don't look forward with dread, thinking that it's not going to happen. You better step into, into today, believing that God is going to do just what he said. Okay, speed up, y'all, speed up, because this thing is still going to happen. I love y'all. Have a great one. This has been One More Minute with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you got to flirt before you can fly. But flying is in your future.